I believe in dangerous freedom. I'll take dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery any day. The reason that I believe that is any other form of, of this construct of freedom can't materialize, it can't, it can't ever be substantial without risk. You know, the, the, the part about being a libertarian, the part about being and understanding what individual responsibility means, there, there is some assumed risk that goes along with it. That's knowing that the government can't take care of me all the time. That's knowing that the government's not gonna give me a free cell phone. That's knowing that the government is not gonna give me food when I'm hungry. That's knowing that I have to take care of myself and my family. I believe in freedom. I believe that I should be able to say whatever I want, whenever I want, when it doesn't hurt somebody else. I believe in freedom of religion. I believe that there should be procedures when the government's gonna come and search my home or wanna get in my car. Like, there, there's a reason that we had all these, you know, the Constitution and every one of those wonderful amendments. The only way that every single one of them can exist is because of the Second Amendment. You like freedom of speech? Well, you better like your right to bear arms because you can't have one without the other. The Second Amendment was not written for hunting deer. You hear people say like, you know, they, they had muskets back then. There's no way that they could have imagined the type of technology that we have today. No, that's, that's malarkey. They, they knew what was coming. The Founding Fathers were brilliant. They were engineers. They weren't like the politicians of today that never had a job in their life. They actually did things for a living. When they wrote that constitution, there were already guns that were essentially Gatling guns. They knew that those ty that type of technology was coming. So when people are like, you know, do you really need an automatic weapon to go deer hunting? Do it. It wasn't written for deer. If the deer were gonna then come and try to imprison me and then search my home and then take what's mine, then yeah, I need a AR-15 for deer hunting but that's not the case. It was written for the government. It was written so that the people always have more power than the government. Now that preponderance has shifted. It has gone from the people being the ones that have the power to now we're scared of the government. We have to go back to a dangerous freedom. That's where people have more power than the government. That is people having guns. That is people having better guns than the government. Yeah, it's scary. But last time we had somebody cruise into San Bernardino into a gun-free zone, Two people, a couple of guns, killed countless. Do what happened last time two people came into Texas to try to do the same thing? They didn't even make it out of their car. That's the difference. Dangerous freedom, we understand what the risk is. There's an assumption there. And I'll take that dangerous freedom over peaceful slavery any day.